For those who feel enough is not enough and failure is not an option. For those, there is Gamma Labs PTF, the next generation pre-workout supplement. Is this the biggest fight of your career to date? Absolutely, you know, it's, it, keeps getting, it keeps getting bigger, you know, and I guess it's, the stakes are bigger, so, you know, I'm just gonna keep moving forward and then, uh, you know, get to get that title shot. Talk about that title shot. Obviously, the division right now it's kind of kind of a mess with the interim champ and GSP. What what are your thoughts on where the division is, and do you think the winner of this fight should be getting a title shot? You know, it's it's uh, there's a lot of un, kind of unsures right now. You know, um, I'm just gonna I, I'm real focused on on Martin Cameron Friday night, so I really haven't looked past that at all. I mean, there's a lot of speculation and stuff, but you know, at the end of the day, you got to take your, do your job, and that's win. So win this fight in a convincingly fashion and prove that I'm a you know a contender for this title. You've always been kind of a blue collar, like, hey, I'll just fight, whatever, and do it. But as you start making your way through your career, I mean, does that change at all where you start saying, maybe I do need to make some noise, maybe I need to call some people out or tell people where I belong in the division? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm still learning right now, you know what I mean? I'm having fun. Like, I'm growing. I'm, I'm 27, you know, I keep learning each fight, and, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, enjoying the, I'm enjoying the experience, man. There's a lot, of, a lot of good people around me right now, so um, just taking it one fight at a time, you know, and... Uh, I still believe I'm a big believer in actions speak louder than words. So, like I said, you know, win fights and, and uh, decisively fashion and, and, uh, and keep having fun. Sure. Yeah, you know, Martin's dangerous. He's uh, he's he's good everywhere. You know, there's not there's not any big holes where I see he's he's weak. Uh, but you know what? I'm really focused on what I can do and what I'm gonna do to, to win this fight. You know, I'm not taking him lightly at all. I'm not, I'm not looking past him. Um, you know, he's in this position for a reason. He's, he's a fantastic fighter. He's not. You know, he's not weak anywhere, but I'm really focused on what I can do and, uh, you know, maximizing my potential. You know, I know, I know what I can do and, you know, I just want to get out there and, and, <clears throat> and, and show people what I can do. So, um, yeah, I'm just really focused on, on myself and, and what I have to do to win this fight. I'm curious, what do you think about his wrestling? Because obviously people know your wrestling pedigree and assume that you're going to have the best, but he seems to be, I think people kind of undervalue his wrestling. What, what do you think? Absolutely. You know, I, um, I, I, you know, I've trained with a lot of the guys that he trains with before, and, and uh, you know, I know he's been working on it a lot. He's, he's, it's getting better, so um, yeah, I, I definitely got to respect it. But uh, you know, it, it's a fight; it's, it's unpredictable. You know, and no one's real sure what's going to happen. But um, yeah, like I said, I respect him and, and his skills. But I'm real focused on what I'm going to do and what I have to do to win this fight. Who are some of the guys who've been working in this camp to prepare for this one? Um, you know, I, I flew a good friend of mine, Chris Wilson, up from Brazil. He's been a huge help for me. Um, you know, he's, he's a great coach and he's uh, the same size as Martin, a uh, fantastic kickboxer as well. Um, he's been a big help for me. Uh, my Muay Thai coach, Rafael Cordero, has been huge. You know, we've been um, sparring with a lot of more, uh, tall, similar styles of uh, Martin. Um, you know, I've, uh, my home's been at Ed Rain with, with Mark Munoz and, and a lot of the, you know, the studs out there in Southern California. So, you know, i got a lot of people to thank, but, uh, you know, we'd be here all day. <laughs> Did you make any changes? I'm curious because uh, obviously this is going to be a five-round fight. Last fight, fantastic fight, great start, maybe kind of tailing off a little bit in third. I think it would have been a fourth and fifth. It might have been tough for you. I, I mean, do you think you would have been able to go four and five? Or yeah, absolutely. You know, it's you know the thing about that fight. Um, Diego got me. He he got me in a bad position. You know what I mean? I don't want to discredit his grappling skills at all. He's he's a phenomenal fighter, phenomenal grappler. He got me in a bad position. That's a real tough position to work out of. Um, you know, my I, my shape felt great. You know, I, I got I, I got out of the position, but I, I definitely felt like I could go four and five if I had to. You know what I mean? And, so know, it was less of a cardio issue than yeah, just what yeah, he yeah. did in the fight, basically. You know, granted, you know, people ask you, you know, there's a difference between getting tired and gassing. Like, if, if you're gassing, it's some sort of preparation thing you did wrong. If, if you get tired, you're doing you're you're doing work and you're trying to finish a fight. I mean, you know, when you fight somebody like Diego, who's tough and he comes at you for 15 minutes, you're going to get tired. Like, there's a few things you can guarantee going into a fight. You know. You're gonna get hit. You're gonna get tired. So, um, you know, I know, and I, I'm also a guy too. I, I know if I have to, I can always step up to the occasion. And uh, you know, you can always do more than you think you can. So, you know, four and five rounds. It's not four. We do it in training all the time. So, you know, now we, we have that opportunity to do it out here on Friday night. And uh, you know, I'm excited to show I can. Does that mean when you're approaching a 25 minute fight, you have to pace yourself a little differently? Not necessarily. I mean, it's everyone's different. You know, it's not gonna change the way I, I go into a fight. Um, I'm always trying to finish the fight. You know, and and. Uh, it's gonna take well, it's gonna take a lot of work to finish a fight. That's just that's just a fact, you know what I'm saying? So it's not gonna change the way I, I fight Martin. You know, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna try to finish him. I'm gonna try to you know, one round, two round, three round, it could go five for sure. I, you, know, you gotta keep that in the back of your mind, but I think uh, it's more psychological than anything. I mean your physical train is is about as hard as anything else. Physical physical and mental. So, you know, it's it's 
I'm not going to change the way I fight. The UFC put out a press release in early April that said the winner of this fight will get the winner of George St. Pierre and Carlos Condit. We're looking into next year for that, mm -hmm. uh, ideally. You know. uh, is that something you would wait for, or would you want to get out there and fight between now and then? That's a long way. So. Yeah, that, that is a long wait. I, I, I've never been one to want to wait, um, especially when I'm doing, you know, I'm doing well. Especially, you know, each fight you kind of you, you get a little better. You you, you learn a little bit more about yourself. And uh, for me. Um, I, I keep moving forward in that momentum and moving forward. So I, I don't want to sit out. Absolutely not. I mean, you know, my goal for the, my goal this whole the whole reason why I'm in this sport is to become world champ. So you know, getting to that fight is is ideal. But you know, at the same time, I, I, I'm not I'm not I don't want to sit out for six months or even possibly a year. But you know, I've just been focused on uh, on Martin Friday night. You know, I haven't really looked past that at all, to be honest. For those who feel enough is not enough and failure is not an option. For those, there's Gamma Labs pre-training formula, the next generation pre-workout supplement, a human enhancement formula designed to build a superior athlete. More power, more speed, more endurance, more mental focus, more of you.